Well, it's Tuesday. What is it, the 19th? 20th, I think. I don't know. Uh, 20th. It's probably the 20th. 2013 of, um... It's the 21st. May? 21st. No. Is it? Yeah, well... I'm going to shut this off so you can see. Hey, it's May 21st. I guess I don't know what day it is. I thought it was Tuesday. Anyway, working on the bridge. We're going over to uh, McDonald's. My mom wants to buy Robert a nice coffee. I wonder what they're doing on the bridge. Well, I was trying to bake some potatoes, and a fire started on the element. The element's completely shot. I'm going to have to let this cool down. I'll pull the element out. Maybe I can broil them. So I'm going to let this cool down for a bit, and then I'll pull the element and, uh, it was really weird. It went around like a fuse and then it like poofed, like in a little explosion. Anyway, um, I'll pull the bottom element out as soon as it cools down and see if I can still use broil so I can at least cook my potatoes. I don't think we have enough money for an element. I'm going to have to order one on eBay or something. Well, I had to uh, take my camera batteries to run the flashlight because the flashlight batteries are dead. Anyway, I pulled the, um, this out. I obviously can't run a, um, broiler. Nah, you can't see in there. There's just two bare wires coming out of it. And there's holes that you just, I thought it would just unplug and it would be still shielded from the heat, but obviously it's not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save my potatoes. You can't really leave these in aluminum too long because they sweat and... There's some kind of aluminum chemicals in them. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. It's actually burn out and then like a uh, a weld, <laughs> an electrical arc it seemed, like a welding arc. It, it was like a fuse. So it just kept going down, 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 down. Never saw anything like that. It just burned out. So we need a new element. I just talked to my mom. I guess she's not getting this element today. So I guess I'll unwrap all these potatoes and I'll cook them in the microwave or something. Okay, the oven is... the whole stove, uh, the breaker's off. She doesn't want me to just tape up the oven. Cause actually, it's dangerous anyway because somebody turns broil on. It could cause a fire because it'll burn the uh, contacts, the tape off. Anyway, um, these are the potatoes I'm not eating. <laughs> but it was just going to cook and I was going to make a bunch of mashed potatoes out of it. And uh, I guess I'll just cook some of these for lunch. Yeah, no point in refrigerating them. They'll uh, soak up all the refrigerator smells and they'll taste like crap. I guess I'll just leave them out here in this bowl for now. Maybe I'll cook them and uh, make some mashed potatoes later. Cook them with the uh, microwave. I really hate them like that. I really didn't want to do this because this uh, dimmer needs replacement. So I'm going to put another plate on this. It's driving me nuts. Well, I found out why the... Uh, the plate was broken. Somebody tried to screw it down apparently and uh, it was installed, the box was installed wrong. It's way too far in. So I backed out the screws and now it's nice and snug. The uh, switch comes nice and flush. I hate these yellow switches. And even this is not as uh, loopy. So. 
I'll just leave it like that. This is fine. This is good. Wow. <clears throat> it's crazy. <laughs> we're drunk. Anyway, we're going to clean the, um, my mom's cleaning it right now, actually cleaning the, uh, uh, switch thing for the for the um, dimmer. I think I'll clean this with the kids. All right, that's much better. That was making me nuts. This wall needs some spackle work. You got some protrusions of uh, nails. Some shoddy construction. They probably didn't put glue glue on the nails. You're supposed to use uh, special nails that have glue on them or screws. That's what I use is screws. I use screws with glue on them actually. I saw indent these with some hammers. Got a little lump down there too. I got um, cheat rock. <coughs> a spackle rather and I got um, I don't know why she's got a wreath up. <laughs> it's not anywhere near Christmas. And I've got um, spackle and I've got tea. Yeah, this here has got damage from uh, when they moved the couch in years and years ago. I'm going to tape this and uh, spackle it. Well, there we have it. My new mailbox for Virginia. It's kind of cheesy, but it's strong enough to last me a couple years till I can build a rock one. A rock and stainless steel one. So I don't know why my other mail keeps getting diverted. It keeps saying Miss Scent. Still waiting for some uh, computer parts and whatnot. Yeah, the lock was defective, so I had to put it in upside down because I didn't have a file to file it. But it works. That's what counts. You do like long-term mail storage if you're going to be away or something. Don't get anything real critical. Pretty neat little mailbox. You can use it as a regular mailbox or a long term mailbox. There's the back door so that you don't have to step out in the street to get your mail. A lot of people get run over every year actually getting their mail, believe it or not. Looks good. Got the roof on it. Not a bad looking mailbox. Little magnet things to hold it down. Snazzy. I gotta get down there and get working on that house. I have the top of the uh, of this assembled, and um, this is in here flush. I need to get some um, washers on the back. There's like a little gap right here. That way I won't pull the roof forward. It would just hold it, but I'm just going to get some washers. And that way it stays back, because I want it, I want it back farther so that it'll block some of the rain that might come into this. Now well, that's all I can do on this for... There's the rest of the extra parts. I really love zip blocks. <laughs> Oh, I just get gallons and quarts mostly. Anyway, um, the rest of these parts are to secure it to a 4x4 four four actually on the ground. And it just goes on and on. I was going to replace this uh, outlet cover because I can't stand this thing. It's ruining my plugs. And the plug keeps falling out because it like keeps it further away from the electric than it normally would be. And I try to flip the screwdriver, the screwdriver gets stuck inside the handle. And I try to pull it out with pliers. The whole post of it came out. Unreal. I love these flip screwdrivers, but this one's really garbage.
and you can see all the burn marks on it. It comes right off, but that's from uh, arcing. And this stupid things cause arcing, as it holds it way out. Plus, this is screwed in too far because the box has been when they built the house, the uh, boxes are in too far. This one actually has been pulled out a little bit. I got to pull it out a little bit more and straighten it out. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, deformity of the plug holes here from all the arcing. These things are fire hazards. They might be safer in case the kids are going to be sticking their hands in there. But we don't have kids to be doing that. This took some jockeying, but this is nice and tight now. This, this is perfect. I know it's the wrong color, but I'm not going to install an, a new outlet just for color. Well, there it is. It's kind of a vegetarian lunch, even though I'm not a vegetarian. I get my potatoes. And it's lunch. Microwave potatoes. <laughs>